The update for Season 1 Reloaded is finally here for Warzone 2.0 and we're going over the dog shit weapon changes. Now right at the top of the article it says for details about Modern Warfare 2, you're going to go to Infinity Ward. For details about Warzone 2.0, you're going to go here. However, as you'll see from these patch notes in general, half of it is not about Warzone 2.0. Now, before we get to all the stupid stuff, I will say there is a ton of gameplay changes and bug fixes that they do include in these patch notes. So as long as these are working better, this is going to be huge. And I'll be going over those changes in a video tomorrow. So the new weapon we're getting, which you can unlock via the weapon challenge or the store bundle, is the Chimera, aka the Honey Badger. It has an integrated suppressor and slow, high energy subsonic 300 blackout rounds. The Chimera is adept to close quarters combat. Subsonic ammo hides, kills skulls from enemy teams. That's really just multiplayer not Warzone 2. As for the weapon adjustments, there's not nearly as much as I thought there's going to be. First, they gave a damage reduction to pistols when using them in a Kimbo, except the full auto ones, and I'm not sure if this is for multiplayer or Warzone 2, because it actually says against armored opponents. Well, in Warzone, everyone has armor, so I'm not really sure what that's going to be for. Hopefully, it's for both, but some of them do need to be nerfed. The cast off 74 got a small reduction in close damage, but again, it says three hits to kill requires at least one chest shot. That is referring to multiplayer and not Warzone. For the M13, if you're using the Bruin barrel, you can't equip the underbarrel launcher or shotgun. The cast off 545 got a needed buff. It got an increase to its muzzle velocity, which is really good. A small decrease to hip spread, not really important. Increase to close damage, that's okay. And increase to chest damage multiplayer, which is actually really good. The MX9 got an increase to its movement speed, ADS speed, and sprint to fire speed when using the 32 round mag. I'm not really sure how good this is because I haven't really tested it out, so I'm not sure if I would actually use the 32 round mag or not. The Vel 46, which is your MP7, got a reduced hip spread, increased movement speed, to increase fire damage so that is a buff for that gun again not sure how it's going to reflect for warzone 2 and the revolver got some attachment changing by blocking some of the muzzle options when using a barrel and adding some muzzle options as well and the deagle got a buff as well reduced hip spread that's okay increase one hit headshot range that's just for multiplayer increased damage range hopefully that's for warzone as well increased neck and upper shoulder location damage multipliers that's good bolt velocity good increased damage range on a couple of the barrels good now i find this actually comical the shotguns can no longer kill fully armored players in one shot now while they are kind of broken in that aspect not too many people are actually using them there's other things that should be nerfed instead of just shotguns x 12 got the guard category added so it got a few more attachments the riot shield got a nerf which again i think is hilarious this is not something that actually needed a nerf but it reduced the movement speed the melee damage to three hits which again that's multiplayer the movement animation improvement and longer switch time when pulling out a throwing knife. So again, it got a nerf when other things need a nerf. And improvement to some of the things with the Joker. And some changes coming to the attachments. Most beneficial tuning value magnitudes have been increased. So hopefully that's good. And some harmful, some harmful tuning value magnitudes have been decreased. So I'm hopefully that works out for the better. And we got an overall buff to thermal optics. I'm not really sure how many people are actually using those. I haven't really seen too many people using them, but it seems like a buff and make them a little bit easier to use. So as I said before, I think these weapon changes are actually terrible. Half of them seem to only relate to multiplayer and not Warzone, even though these are the Warzone patch notes. And there's a lot of weapons that need a buff or need a nerf. For example, the M16 should have got a buff. Some of the battle rifles should have got a buff. And the snipers definitely need adjustments, because really, they're not that good to use anymore. As for the nerfs, I think the time to kill in the game is way too fast to begin with, let alone the Fennec absolutely deletes people at close range. And then you got the RAL LMG and you got the RPK LMG. They're absolutely nasty for long range options and are absolutely deleting people the only thing that's saving the lower skill players is the ttk is so fast sometimes you can have a bad gun and delete someone but if they're using a meta gun and it's an even fight you have no chance at all let me know in the comments what you think about these weapon changes and look for that video coming tomorrow about bug fixes and gameplay updates